You know, you uh, uh, you love the song Ohio. As long as we're talking about activist type uh, music, you didn't write Ohio. No, you were young, neither. Did. But you love that song. Well, I get a call from Crosby. I'm in Los Angeles. Neil uh, and David are up in a, a place that I had in Pescadero in Northern California. It was a friend's house. Crosby called me. He goes, book the studio right now. Get the band together. Get Halverson, who's our engineer, Bill Halverson. I'm coming down tomorrow. I said, boy, you sound intense. What the, the hell's going, What's on? going on? He said, wait until you hear this song. I said, what is it? He said, it's called Ohio, and Neil wrote it. I said, what happened? He said, I showed Neil a newspaper with a, you remember that famous John Philo picture of the girl leaning over the... Right. The talking body? about at Kent State. At Kent State. Yeah. Uh, one of the students had been shot by a National Guard. Four of them. Yes. We slaughtered our own children. Yes. Right. So here's the story. So... He shows Neil this newspaper or this magazine, whatever it was. He said, I saw Neil walk off with his guitar into the woods, and he comes back an hour later with this song, right? Wow. We had teacher children going, it was already in the top 20. It was going towards the top of the charts. Right. We put out Ohio immediately and killed our own single because we thought it was more important to talk about America killing its own children than having a hit record. You're telling me that Neil Young goes off into the woods, an hour later comes out with a fully formed song. Completely done, finished. And, and, and Crosby thought the song was so important and so good. He said, come on guys, let's get together record this. Immediately. Even at and put it out immediately. Yeah, and put it out immediately. Yeah. Ahmed Erdogan was in the studio. So we cut Ohio. It took us about an hour and a half. The whole he, song was cut in an hour and a half. Oh, yeah. He's, it's a very simple song. No one does that anymore. Well, you know. Would you, would you grace us with a little bit of Ohio? Um, okay. Sure. Okay. That just from a technical standpoint, how does he come out and present that to you? Uh, just like that. He said he played that for you on a guitar. On an acoustic guitar, and he said, "What are we going to do with it?" You don't write the, the, this down the music. In other words, he just none keeps of it us. In his head. None of us write music. None of us read music. Right. So it's, so he just goes off and and he comes out with that riff. Ding, you know that that, that just, riff. Is, isn't that? But isn't that a Neil Young riff? Oh yeah. Yeah. And, no and, and when you go in the studio and record it in an hour and a half, it's just, it, because it's a band. Does Neil make the decision about how it's going to be recorded since he wrote it, or is it a democratic process? It's a slightly democratic process, but he actually leaned on Stephen a lot. 
Because they're, the they're, the, they're the real rock and roll heart of CSNY, let's get real. Right. I mean, Crosby's a little jazz influence, you know, me, I have no idea what my influence is, but it was mainly Stephen and Neil who made that great rock and roll track. I see. So, so when you get in the studio, you defer to those two, mm -hmm. and you say, okay, guys, what are we doing? Mm -hmm. And if you make a suggestion and... Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Does someone ever say, that's just a stupid suggestion, don't do that, because that would crush your spirit also, right? Yeah, because and we're very tender with each other, because we're brothers. Yeah. And yeah. no matter what we have done, you know, how much backstabbing and how much shit that we've given each other, you know, we really love each other, and we really realize that the most important part of what we do is the music.